Okay, you've done it. The day's almost here. Everything's in place. So congratulations and well done. If you're looking for a few things to do between now and the big day, listen up. Here's a few ideas. Firstly, give your go-to person a call and make sure that all the management of the day is under control. Ask them to ensure that every single supplier is confirmed and also that the honeymoon reservations, including flights and accommodation, are all ready to go. Secondly, practice those vows with your groom after every meal if you want to and take the time when you've got a break to just vision your day from start to finish. Really reduce that chance of emotional overwhelm and get yourself really open and present to all the fun things that are going to be happening on the day. Another thing that I encourage brides to do at the best of times, but more now than ever, is ravish your husband. I know it sounds a little bit crass, but really it's actually quite important. Take the time to be intimate because there's a lot of emotion going on right now and one of the easiest and best ways for you both to process your emotion is to be in physical contact with each other. So anytime you're feeling tense, anytime he's feeling tense, you've got the answer to that, just get on with it. I'm not going to stop you. And the final thing to do is organise an alarm for the morning of the wedding day. So you need an alarm at home and then get your go-to person to be online to give you a call just to make sure that everything's on track first thing in the morning and also a backup call from the maid of honour once again to get everyone in line all at the same time and getting the day working. Now there's some busy tasks to do, but the reality is that the thing that's going to carry you from here until the end of your wedding day is your body. So this is something I haven't talked about before, but it's really, really important. Your body takes you through your wedding day. And there are two things that are going to help your body do that more than anything. The first thing is food. On the night before your wedding day, eat so many carbs. You can't lose weight in the day before your wedding. Your body shape isn't going to change in one day. This is really important. I need you to eat like four potatoes for a massive bowl of pasta or a huge plate of rice. It doesn't really matter what else is on there. A lot of, lot of, lot of carbs. You're essentially going to be running a marathon on your wedding day. You need to load in carbs so your body is fully nourished. The second thing is sleep. I hope that if you've got trouble sleeping, you've already tried and tested a sleeping pill. And the other thing that's going to help you sleep is sex. Now, these two things are really, really important. 10 hours sleep. Set your alarm for the morning and then you know when you need to go to bed. Get to sleep and give yourself 10 hours of clear rest and saturate your body with carbohydrates. Your body is what carries you through the wedding day. If you've done everything that I've set up until now and you don't do these two things, 10 hours sleep and a full belly on the night before your wedding, it's for nothing. If you do these two things now and you haven't listened to anything that I've said and done nothing else, you're probably actually going to have a pretty good day on your wedding day. This is really, really important. Nourish your body and it will take you through the day with ease and grace. Okay, that's it. I've been nagging you for months and months and months. And now my nagging is at an end. So from here, all I wanted to say is good luck, trust yourself and have a fantastic day.